Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have got a mega one sheet wonder to show you tonight. It's going to take a little bit, but the cards are well worth the wait. We are going to be using the 12x12 Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper. We're going to use one 12x12 sheet and we're going to get eight cards tonight. Let's change the camera and get started. All right, so this is the gorgeous new Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper. It has all the new in colors in the paper prints. I use this paper to create my cards for my in color club members this month, so they'll be seeing that, as well as the PDF file for tonight's eight cards. They are going to receive that as well. You can probably tell which sheets that I'm going to be using if you've seen the pack. It is this one right here. I think when Stampin' Up! designed this paper, they designed it to be made as a one sheet wonder. So we're going to cut this up and make eight cards from this one sheet. So let's bring in my trimmer. Pretty easy cutting um, directions. Just follow the prints. So like this has a straight line here. So we're going to start with this cut and we're going to cut that down. And then this is a pretty straight cut. So this one's going next. And we'll trim up each piece as needed. Now we're going to turn it and we have a straight line coming here. So just follow all those straight lines and you'll be good to go. And we're going to cut this one down. This is going to be one card. This is going to be one card. We're going to cut this line off here. This is a card. This is a card. We're going to come and bring this one in. And we got two more there. And we're going to bring this one in. And we got two more there. So let's get started i'm going to leave my trimmer here we're going to start with this piece right here pretty simple easy we just need to trim it down a tad get all my pieces i might as well throw them on my cards so that when i get to the card it will already be in place with the rest of the stuff that goes with it. Okay, so this one right here, we're going to trim this down. It is gorgeous as is, but I want uh, for the card I'm doing, I want it a little smaller. So we're going to trim this down to three and an eighth by four and three eighths. So in order to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of trimming on this side, a little bit of trimming on that side, because I, I, I want to keep the majority of my print. So three and an eighth, or th what is it? Three and an eighth. Okay, so I don't want to cut too far into my daisies there. So I kind of do a little bit of cutting for both sides until I have my three and an eighth. I'm going to trim just a tad off the top. And then I'm going to cut it down to four and three eighths. Measure once, cut, well, measure twice, cut once. You can place this on the inside of your card if you like. All right, so that's all my cutting and trimming. We're going to attach that to this piece of basic white, like so. Let's see, i got to grab my glue. Because it's such a tight fit, I want to use my liquid glue so I have a little bit of wiggle room. And I haven't been looking at the screen to see if I'm freezing or not. That has been a problem for me. So I'll try to keep checking that. Then I brought in the scallop contour dies and used the Early Espresso and made this gorgeous scallop frame for this gorgeous card. So we're going to attach that like 
So isn't that pretty? Oh, gorgeous. All right, I paired this because this is part of the, I got lots of stamp sets here. Probably in the bottom of the bundle. Okay, so this is the the Cheerful Daisies dies, and this is the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. Now this bundle is in the suite with the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. But I did bring in other stamp sets today, just because of the way the prints went. But you could probably get different cards using this bundle exclusively with these prints. But the first card I did use it. And I created the little frame that comes with it. And I have a little strip of Early Espresso. And we're going to use the sentiment from the stamp set, which is the wishing you the brightest birthday. So let's get that stamped up. Just let getting that a little bit time to sit up there. So let me stamp my sentiment here like so gonna take some adhesive run a little strip across the back take our little piece of early espresso like so we're gonna pop that up I, whoops, thought I was running low, so we're just going to bring in some more here. Looks like I got some ink on my finger. I'm going to put this right towards the bottom so it doesn't take up so much of the picture we got going on there. Take my scissors here, and I'm just going to trim up these ends like so. The card base is basic white. It's so gonna. Oh, I got some on there too, didn't I? Hmm. Let me grab another piece here. Fold that in half. And we're going to attach that to our card front. Like so. And then you could put this on the inside if you like. Maybe you want to add a little strip of that early espresso to widen that out. Or use your daisy stamps and stamp your daisies on the inside. Got to put my sweet little gems on the front. I think I'm going to go with the butterflies. These are so cute, and I think they go perfect with this print. We'll put one right on our flower. So there is the first card. Isn't that cool? From that one sheet. Now the second card, we're going to use this piece right here. For this one, I went, I want to see if I have to cut that down a little bit. Nope, that looks perfect just as it is. From this one, I went with the rain embossing folder i can't remember the technical name for it and it'll you can find it down below under the video under show more and then i paired it with the plane in the rain because to me this looked like raindrops and this set is so sweet so cute so we're doing that we're going to attach the piece that we cut from that designer series paper on here my card base is the new in color it's the pebbled path and that's four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half i have the new boho blue and we're going to attach that raindrop paper to that 
So let me get that glued together here. Remember, we are making eight cards. So I tried to do as much little assembling as I could so we're not here all night. <laughs> so we're going to attach that to our card front. Make sure I get my raindrops going here in the right direction. Hold that down. We're going to attach this to the front. Like so. Then I went ahead and I cut out that little bunny and I colored it with the blends. I hand cut him out, so we're going to pop him up. Bring in a couple of those mini dimensionals. Those are great for the little spots. I think that will be good. Okay, we're gonna stamp, or not stamp, we're gonna attach him down here. And then we're going to, I stamped, oh, happy day. And I die cut it out with the layering stitches die. So we're gonna kinda put this around so that we can see him. That looks good. And then I have the little clouds that come in the dies that go with that rain, rain, playing in the rain stamp set. It is a bundle, or you can get it as a bundle, I should say. It's, it's sold separately. The dies and the stamp set are sold separately, but you can purchase them. But they are, you have to purchase them separately. All right, I wasn't gonna pop each one of these up, but I guess I am now. So we're gonna put these clouds here. Super cute. I don't know if this is what Stampin' Up! had in mind when they were designed this print, but that's what I had in mind. I thought it was cute, cute. Now we're gonna come in with a few of those rhinestones i'll put one here and we'll put one on one or two on our clouds isn't that adorable so that's print number two this is print number three i'm gonna bring in some new stuff for this one as well this one we are going to be using the, let's see, Circle Sayings bundle right here. It has this two and three eighths inch bundled with the stamp set. This is the one we're going to use for this card. So the card base on this is a little bit different. It is four and a quarter by eight and three fourths and it's scored at five and a half. So I'm gonna fold that on that score line. This paper I thought had a little bit of the vanilla in it, so I went with the very vanilla. And this piece here is gonna go on the inside. Part of this that I cut off the front, we're gonna use that and let's see, did I put what this was? One and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I scored it at a half an inch and you're gonna fold on that score line. So what we're doing is we're creating an arm to go on the side here. Like so. 
This piece here is going to go on the front. I might have to trim that down just a hair. Pretty much the pieces though that I used them as they were from the when you cut them off the just a hair is all that was needed on that and maybe yours will come out perfect it just depends on when you're cutting up that sheet on which side you place it to cut it so that's going to go on here we're going to set that aside we're going to take a pe another piece of berry vanilla we're going to take that pebbled path ink it's a new ink color new in color and here's my stamp we're going to take the circle stain stamp i have already mounted all the images i want on one clear black because it's all going to be the same color like so and of course i stuck my finger in the ink so I'm going to just kind of wipe that off on my stamp thing here. I'll clean this so we don't have any catastrophes. And i got to clean this one. Because I'll be using that again on another color. Alright, so now what we're going to do is punch this out with the coordinating punch. This is sold in a bundle, so when you purchase the bundle, you do get the stamp set and the punch. All right, and then I took these stylish shapes dies and die cut a piece of the pebbled path. So that's going to get stuck on there. And then I did another very vanilla. Like so. Oh, it's starting to freeze up again. I apologize. You know how long we worked on trying to get that fixed? So I'm going to center that in that little tab. I'm going to put adhesive on, stick that down. So now we can go ahead and stick this inside our card. And maybe it's not freezing on your end. I'm hoping not, but I don't know. Don't know what else to try to fix it. So that's going to go like that. We're going to attach this to our little band. So I'm going to put some adhesive on here. Kind of stick that on there like that. Then we're going to open it up and we're going to put some more adhesive on here. And we're going to take another circle and just cover that up. Now you could stamp on that again if you wanted to put another secret little message on there. The choice is yours. But this paired really well, this circle stain stamp that I used with the Seaside Bay. Ah, that's not in here. Here it is. So on the inside, I took the Pebbled Path ink and just stamped those little shells like that on the side. So there you have it, card number three. Oh, I forgot to put my gems on there. So I'm going to use the Rustic Metallic. Can't forget my gems. I'm going to put three of them down the side here. Try to line them up as best as I can. Like so. And then I think I'll put a tiny one kind of in between the words here and the images, like so. So there you have it. Isn't that cute? Card number three. 
Now card number four uses this print right here. And I did bring in the Daisy, let me see, get the right name here again, wrong one. It is the Cheerful Daisies bundle for this card. The card base on this one is another in color. It is the Moody Mauve. It's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I took a piece of basic white and I ran it through the basics embossing folders and did that little cross hatch on there. We're going to attach that. To the card front. Like so. Then I have another piece of white and a pebbled path. And I have my print. This needs to be trimmed down a bit. This needs to be cut down to three by four. So three by four, just a little bit. Like I said, it really depends on how you cut it, how close you cut it when you cut it from the designer series paper. We're going to attach this to the white. like so and then we're going to attach this to the pebble path piece and then that's going to get attached to our card front like that then i use the daisy dies and i die cut out and assembled my little daisy. Now when you do these types, you're going to want to use your adhesive sheet for sure. So I'm going to go ahead. First I got to put my sentiment on here. Getting ahead of myself. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the little die cut from the Fresh as a Daisy bundle. And we're going to use the Pebbled Path ink. and the wishing you the brightest birthday like so now we're going to bring in the ribbon this is the pebbled path this is an in color this is the ribbon i'm going to cut my ribbon here And then this ribbon will fray a little bit, so I'm going to show you a little trick on so your ribbon doesn't fray. You're going to take a, I take a candle. If you have a lighter, you can do it with a lighter. I'm going to light the candle. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to pass your ribbon end through that flame. And that will make it so that it doesn't fray. Now I'm going to do that with another piece and then we'll blow out the candle. On another card we're going to be using this, which is our Wild Wheat in color ribbon. I don't like that end, so I'm just going to trim that a little bit. Like so. And then I'm just going to pass that through. Pass that through, and it is good. Blow out my candle so I don't start my room on fire, and we'll save that for another card. All right, so this, like I do my little strips of paper, we're going to do it with the ribbon. So this is going to go with that ribbon. Just like that. We're going to pop that up.
we're going to put that right across that center part right there. Then we're going to take our flower here. I'm going to put some dimensionals instead of the adhesive. And I used the Pebble Path and the Moody Mauve. And then here's my stem. And I have the adhesive sheet on the back side. So I'm going to just slip that under there like so. And then I'm going to use those same rustic metallic dots on my card. And then I think I'll put, oops, I think I'll put one on my little flower like that. So there's card number four using that print from all right, number five, we're going to use this print right here. Oh, this is supposed to go on the inside. I'll do that later. Our card base on this one is going to be white. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. And scored at four and a quarter, so fold that right in half. This is the thick basic white. And then we have this print right here, which we're going to leave as is, but we're going to cut it down. I want it to be four, which it's pretty darn close to four. Yep, hardly took off anything. A little smidget by five and a quarter. And then this piece is going to be on the inside. This is the probably the quickest card in the bunch. Well, I have, the next one is two. So two of them, I mean, they pretty much did everything for you as far as no need to do a whole lot more with it. That's the front. I'm going to put this on the inside. So I think I'll stick it to the side like this. Now for the front, I took the little Stylish Shapes banner die, and we're going to just put that down here. I didn't want to cover up so much, so I went with the smaller die, which means I went with the go-to greetings for my sentiment. And I'm going to use the new In Color Copper Clay for that. And... Where's my tissue? Way over stamped. That's what happens kind of when you got new ink pads sometimes. You go a little heavy. A little heavy handed. Whoop. Hopefully we good. All right. Stamp that. Got a little over stamp. Got another one here. See if I can't do better. Tap, 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 lightly. Like I tell Sophia when she's here. Tap, tap, tap. Much better. All right. I'm going to put that aside because that's pretty inky. All right. So we're going to... Oh, I forgot that ribbon. Mm -hmm. Do I want to grab that ribbon? Or I'll take this piece. It's, it's one of the little trimmings from that first card that we did. It matches perfect. So then I'm really using it as a one sheet wonder. These were little trims that off from the first card that I did to make it smaller to fit my stylish shapes or scallop contour die. 
I missed that. But that's okay. We'll improvise. It'll look perfect. So I'm going to kind of center that in this area here. And then we'll fan those out. And I'll show you the one I, my sample. I'm going to use those rustic metallics again. I'll put one here. I think they go perfect with the wild wheat with pretty much all these end colors. I'm going to put just a couple around. The flowers as well. I think that adds a little something to them. So there you go. That's card number five, I guess. So that's with that leftover strip from that card number one. And then this is with the... And I absolutely switched it. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but there you go. Either way. So that's card number five. This next one is the simplest one in in the group. I thought that last one was, but this one is way easier. So the card base is that wild wheat. It's four and a quarter by 11. Score it at five and a half. Fold it on that score line, although mine did not have a score line. <laughs> Make sure I'm on the right. This goes on the inside. I'm gonna do that right now before I forget. You could use some of the other designer series from the pack or stamp an image on the inside, whatever you like. This is from the Daisy bundle. We're going to use the Wild Wheat ink and the Happy Birthday, which I got to clean off. I don't need pebbled path in with my Wild Wheat ink. Stamp that. Perfect. Now we're going to take that piece that I took my candle to, so it's not going to fray. Put that on there, like so. This is the piece we're working with. It should be four by five and a quarter. Perfect. Like I said, if you follow the lines in the designer series paper, generally you don't have to do much trimming. It works perfect on your card fronts as is. We're going to pop this up. Isn't that pretty blue with that wild wheat? We're going to stick that right up here like so. And I think I'm going to come in with those. Let's see. I think I want the littler ones. And we'll put these around. Lots of me rustic metallic dots today. So there's that card. Isn't that quick and easy? That's card number six. We got two more in the stack. So now we're going to be using this print right here. At least to me, it's a gorgeous scenic card. Let's get my stuff. Another wild wheat. This is five, eight and a half, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Get that folded. This white is going to go on the inside. We are going to trim this down just a bit.
this is going to be three and three quarters by five. So I want it by five. So I'm going to put that in there. We got a little bit off there. And then three and three quarters. So a little bit off the top. Now, I brought in, for this one, I brought in the Grassy Grove stamp set. And I'm going to use this sentiment, which it looks like I, oh yeah, I do have the label. Sometimes I forget to put the labels on because I'm in a hurry. Sometimes you need to know that someone really cares. And then I put the we're going to use these trees to create like our little scene because it doesn't that look scenic? I think that looks scenic. All right, and we're going to be using the Pebbled Path ink. Looks like I used the ribbon again. I didn't know I used the ribbon so much. So I'm either going to have to get creative with the strips I cut off or we're going to use the ribbon and not worry about it fraying. So I'm going to take this trees here and we're going to just stamp that like so. And now we're going to attach this to the pebbled path cardstock. And now we're going to attach it to our card front. We're going to use this sentiment from the Grassy Growth stamp set as well. See how I do. Mm, it's okay, but I'm going to do another one. Just I went over too far to the one side. Much better. All right. Now, here's that ribbon. I guess I'm just not going to worry about it. And then we'll pop that up. This is card number seven. We got one more and then we have completed that whole 12 by 12 sheet of prints. That's gonna go up there. Again, I'm gonna use the rustic metallic dots. So isn't that pretty? Love it. All right, card number eight. Eight, eight, eight. It uses this piece right here. Got my cheat sheet right there. Okay, this is Boho Blue. Five and a half by eight and a half. It's gonna go in the horizontal position. This piece here, we're gonna cut down just a tad. It is going to be three and three quarters by five. So three and three quarters. Let's see. I think I'll trim off a little off the top and a little off the bottom. Three and three quarters. Let's get straight here. Three and three quarters by five. So I'm gonna trim a little off this side and a little off this side. And we should be good. So now this piece is going to fit on here like so. And that's gonna go on our card front. So we're gonna attach this. 
to that white piece like so here's my sentiment now you can do if you don't want to cover up so many flowers with that daisy dye you could use your stylish shapes dies we'll do the birthday again see if i can find the stamp i used oh here it is might have to clean it because i don't remember what color it was i used last All right, we're gonna use the new copper clay on this one. This is the one I get too heavy handed. That's what you get with new ink pads, right? Nice and juicy. Okay, so I am going to put some adhesive on this strip here. And then place that across the bottom edge, like so. Make sure it's straight. That looks a little crooked. How's that? That looks better. Flip that over, trim those ends off. because It's easier to trim off than to add. That's ready to go on the card front. This goes on the inside, which you could stamp daisies from that stamp set you could use some more of the designer series paper from the bun from the pack however you want to accent or decorate your inside now this piece here i cut for if i use that one it's just a little wider strip and then the birthday we're going to pop that up and then put our jewel gems on there which again i use the rustic metallic and then we'll have our eight cards completed out of that one 12 by 12 fresh as a daisy sheet. So there we go, super sweet. I got that one big one left, we'll use that one. And then we'll use just a couple of these little ones. There we go, there's our eight, we did it. We made it through a little freezing going on there, but I hope you will forgive me for that because I, we have worked hard, hard, hard trying to figure out what is going on. But here's your eight, bringing them all in, all from that one six by six sheet. There we have them. Aren't they cute? all different i used a variety of stamp sets and sentiments but look at how you can create eight cards quick and easy with that one 12 by 12 sheet for pretty much any occasion you need a card for i think they're all got you covered there um let's see do i get an extra one of those sheets this right here here's the sheet we started with and those are the cards we ended up with isn't that awesome so if you need any of those supplies, I have the entire list of all the supplies that I used under the video, under show more, click on that. I will have the list of the supplies. Click on any of those links to the supplies that you need and it will bring you to my online store. I do appreciate any and all orders. Helps me greatly in keeping up doing all this fun stuff for you. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell in the upper right-hand corner so you always know when I go live. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.